me, Jeff. I'm the storyteller in residence at the Delaware Art Museum. It's great to see you. Today I was drawing a picture. You know, I love to tell stories and draw pictures. Today I was drawing a lion. Why? Because I was thinking of one of my favorite paintings in the Delaware Art Museum. It's a painting of a very old lion. I really love this painting. I feel like this old lion may have been ferocious when he was younger, but now he's peaceful and maybe a little bit tired. I also love this painting of this girl. Look at the details the artist included in her face, the way he painted her eyes and her hair. I also love the colors in the background. And here, look at this old poster. I love this fancy couple on the poster, especially this man with a very fancy hat. I was thinking, would you like to make a story with me? Let's make a story about that lion, the girl, and the man with the fancy hat. I'll bet you we could put them all together in a story and come up with something great. You ready to do that? I know I am. Let's go to my drawing board and I'll show you what I mean. Come on. Our story begins at the Delaware Art Museum. All of the paintings and all of the sculptures were very excited. You see, they had been invited to a mermaid's birthday party. A mermaid lived in a special painting in the museum, and she decided to celebrate by sending everyone an invitation. Wouldn't it be so much fun to open an envelope and then find an invitation inside to a mermaid's birthday party? Oh wow, that would be great. Now I should tell you, actually not everybody was excited. There were a few characters from paintings who were a little bit nervous. There was a pirate. There was a cat. And then there was a painting of a fancy guy with a very fancy hat. This is what his hat looked like. And this is why they were nervous. The pirate looked down and said, I'm invited to the mermaid's birthday party, but did you know that the lion is invited too? The cat looked up and said, the lion? The lion is invited? I can't go to the party if the lion's going. Lions are very scary. And the man with the fancy hat said the same thing. He said, I don't wanna be at a party with a lion. Lions make me very, very nervous. Whenever that pirate thought of a lion, the only thing he could think about was a scary roar. <laughs> the lion who lived in the painting in the museum didn't seem that scary though. He had a lion nose and a lion mouth and lion ears. And of course, he had a big lion mane coming down his head over his shoulders. He was an old lion and he'd been in the museum a very long time. And that's when somebody spoke up. It was a young girl who lived in another painting. She looked like this. The young girl looked at the pirate and the cat and the man with the fancy hat and said, why are you afraid of the old lion? And the pirate said, well, of course we're afraid of lions. They're always roaring, scary roars. The girl said, not this lion. I know him. He's really friendly. She reached out her hand and gave him a flower. It was very brave of her and the lion smiled. Well, after seeing the girl give the lion a flower, the pirate started to smile just a little. He wasn't quite as nervous anymore. The pirate and the cat and the man with the fancy hat looked at each other and they said, 
Maybe we should invite him to the party with us. He does seem friendly. They said, Lion, Lion, would you like to go to the mermaid's party with us? Well, the lion looked at them and said, that's very kind, that's very generous. But the truth is, I'm an old lion and I haven't been to a party in a very long time. I don't have a thing to wear to a party. The girl knew they could come up with an idea, a way to dress the lion and make him feel comfortable going to the party. She always thought best when she sat. So she sat and she thought and she thought and she sat and she sat and she thought and she thought and she sat until, aha, she had an idea. She whispered it to the pirate. And then he whispered it to the cat. And the cat whispered it to the man with the fancy hat. Meow, 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 meow. Until they realized they had everything they needed to help the lion get dressed for the party right there in front of them. The pirate gave him a beautiful red cape. The man with the fancy hat gave him a fancy cane and one of his other fancy hats. The girl had a flower and the cat decided to teach him how to purr. No more roaring for this lion. And there he was with his fancy hat, his cape, his cane, and of course, his beautiful flower. The girl looked at her friend the lion and said, Lion, I'm so glad that you're going to come to the party with us. It makes me very happy. Just because lots of lions are scary and roar doesn't mean that every lion is scary. Because they gave him a chance to show how nice he was, this lion made a lot of friends. And he also learned that instead of roaring, it might be better to purr. That was really fun. I'm so glad that everybody in the story gave the lion a chance and learned that he was gentle and kind and not scary and mean. It's not fair to judge somebody without getting to know them first. They got to know him and realized he was really good on the inside. I'm so glad that we get to share these stories together. And I have a challenge for you. What I want you to do is make a drawing. Think of a creature that might ordinarily be scary. Maybe it's a lion or a bear or a shark and see if you can draw that creature so they look friendly. You could give them a smile or give them really friendly eyes or you could make them happy, happy creatures. It's up to you. I can't wait to see what you draw. In the meantime, I'll be looking forward to our next video and I hope to see you soon. Bye.